been having lots of questions on the SML. Yes, the SML is still going. Yes, we're working on them. Yes, we're going to be doing even more testing. This is the next one up on testing. This is Jake Rodriguez's. And Jake's a great guy and he's been super patient. And we're, uh, I was hoping to probably get this on the dyno this week, but I think we're going to get it on the dyno next week. But we're also in process. So check this out. I mean, this thing is super cool. All billet, fully water jacketed, drag and drive, 3,000 plus horsepower. If you want to learn more about this, all you got to do is just go to our website and you can see the extra head studs. Not extra peeny, teeny weeny, little stupid head studs, but actual altered head stud pattern, all uh, half inch head studs. Not little one here, little one here, and half inchers over here. No, it's an altered, changed head stud pattern to clamp cylinder heads on to avoid the head gasket issues. So we'll be dynoing, be testing this at a bigger horsepower levels, trying to make in that 3,500 horsepower range with Jake's engine. And uh, I have several of these things going. So I was going to show you we're building or uh, working on the billet heads right now and show you how that all works. All right, we got Dewey in here inspecting stuff. This is uh, three of the next three SML billet blocks. You want to check that out real close. Uh, fully full billet, obviously. Water jacketed. This is water water in, water out. Still takes some LS componentry. Yeah, exactly. And then yeah, back up, back up, back up, back up, back the dog up, and. Uh, uh, water jacket all through here now notice that altered head bolt pattern I talk about this all the time, but it is important There's actually a head stud that goes right here Through the intake port and we'll show you that on the cylinder heads here half inch head stud here half inch head stud here Revised move these in so it's a more symmetrical pattern all the way around ultimate cylinder head clamping for LS Dewey clicking the uh, camera so Ultimate cylinder head clamping there. You can oh you can look at the the uh, the mains here. Awesome stuff, all half inch. This is it point blank is the best LS based LS style. Uh, you can drop this engine in. You cannot use my block with any other LS head. It has a different head bolt pattern. You can't. You can't use my heads with any other block. But you can drop this in, replace your LS7, LSX, whatever you got, and your hot side, cold side, everything's going to line up. That's pretty nice. This is what it starts out as. This big piece of aluminum. First process right here, and we'll show you some of this machining, turns it into this, or you can see it better right here. Start putting in the base head bolt pattern, fixturing holes everything that's there so you can here you can see the head bolt pattern uh, these are not drilled through because they're used for fixturing but one two three four five six hey on tomorrow's video we're going to cover this twin turbocharged twin hearts turbos ls build for brett caswell dyno on e85 and on methanol i'm going to cover this whole build for you tell you about this engine so be here tomorrow freaking angle to pick that up. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's let's grab that and go weigh it. This is the SML head that's all done. Swing! <laughs> Back to the Wayne's World reference. And uh, you can see the hoops are Oops, are uh, not in it yet, but it's all machined for it. Uh, this is, uh, yep, valve job. Just have to touch up, uh, blend in the valve seats and the valve job into it.
We have our own valve train. Manton does our own valve train for this whole project. Uh, O-ring, exhaust ports. You can see that we've because we've moved the pattern, this is a half inch head stud. Not that little wussy 3 8 looking 10 millimeter stud. Uh, we've moved the pattern, especially these two holes. So it does come up and it makes this really close intersection right here. So uh, a little close right there, but uh, is what it is. And this whole thing is solid. So everything in this deck surface is, there is nothing in this deck surface that is less than about an inch and a half thick. A billet. Ultimate clamping force. Very good port design, obviously. Combustion chamber design. But built to be able to take the boost that we can put at all this stuff. Because we can make horsepower. Making horsepower is easy. Making it live is hard. Now, Dewey is mad at this block. Hey, that thing's sharp. No, you're going to hurt yourself. Go away. Go play with your toy. We'll go weigh this thing and see what it weighs. goes in here as a square block machines to this everything that needs to be done on the bottom that we can't get once this is fixture plated then it goes over here in the fixture plate then it'll come right over here into this fixture plate and you gotta keep in mind this is yeah, Brock's looking at me, he's going, don't touch the wrong button. Anyways, so I come over here and I, I spin th stuff around. I hit A minus or A plus and it makes it spin. 
that is pretty much the uh, extent of my knowledge of running this particular machine. I can figure it out, but I don't want to. So, anyways, the cylinder head goes in here and uh, up on this fixture. So, that combustion chamber is facing this way, and we'll show you that here just a little bit too as we're uh, getting those cylinder heads that get uh, the bottoms machined out and the old machine that come over here for all five axis work. Oh wait, 108? Oh, 10 pounds, that's more than I thought.
Alrighty. Now, I'm going to come in here and interject myself just like I was doing all the machine work. And then I'm going to press the magic button. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there we go. I even pressed the right one. So, <clears throat> now this, you can see in here, combustion chambers, uh, valve guide holes, ports, all the underside, everything's all done there. Exhaust port, outsides, so uh, the top up here at the rocker arm stands and for push rod holes and head bolt holes. The only thing, <clears throat> excuse me, the only thing Brock's got left to do on this is all the water jacketing, which has to come out of this, well, it's a two-part process. Part of it has to come in and do the ends of the cylinder heads, which means he bolts it up on this end of the, of the uh, turntable and does all both ends and then drills all the passages through. Then it goes one more time back into here to do all the water jacketing that's in this area. Now, then it turns into this right here with all the, now this is a finished cylinder head with hoops, valve seats, valve guides, valve jobbed, plates on, everything all done. Give you the shiny cool. Ooh, beep, beep, beep. Really nice looking stuff here. I actually like the combustion chamber, everything. When you make something, you have a different appreciation for it than when you just buy it. So I look at it and go, dang. And I've looked at other cylinder heads that were just as nice, if not nicer. But I look at this and go, dang. Because <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it's, it's our deal. So very proud of this. So anyways, this is what this whole thing looks like. But uh, let's go weigh this thing and see exactly what it weighs. almost astronomical it's 75 pounds yeah 75 pounds of chips pretty cool <laughs>